while Arbor Day may not come until late April, but really there's never a bad time to plant a tree in your community. Nope, and today 14 new trees were planted in Brighton Heights. KDK's Chris DeRose reports on what the pirates have to do with that. Brighton Heights Park here in Pittsburgh is going to be throwing some shade this spring, but in a good way, thanks to 14 woody additions to the park. At an event earlier today, Tree Pittsburgh, along with the Pittsburgh Pirates, Duquesne Light Company, and the Brighton Heights Citizens Federation, planted 14 new trees throughout Brighton Heights Park. These trees are part of the Power Hitters program, run by Duquesne Light and Power, planting one tree in Greater Pittsburgh for every Pirates home run hit during the season. Since the fall of 2021, over 200 of these power hitters have been planted. We came up with this great idea last year uh, where we could turn the, power, the, the home runs that the pirates were hitting and translate that into trees in our local communities, which is a great way to give back and also to support our environment. There was a wide variety of species planted in the park today, everything from lindens to bald cypress to redwoods. We spoke with Jake Malofsky of Tree Pittsburgh, and he said that it's very important to plant new trees for the community. So it's safe to say these trees will be throwing shade in a positive way. Yes, that's, a, that's exactly right. Yes, they are shady trees, but the good kind of shady. We always have to be planting new trees so the next generation has big trees to enjoy. You know, the trees we're planting here today are small, but if you look at the other trees in the park, they're big, and it takes decades for them to grow that much. So if we want kids who haven't been, been born yet to have shade to sit under and play under, we need to be planting trees today for that next generation. Most people think that the 14 new trees being planted here in the park are not only a home run for the park, but for the community. For now in Brighton Heights Park, Chris DeRose, KDKA News.